welcome finally to the last episode of Life is Strange. This is the pinnacle of what this, uh, I guess what the, where the story should go. This is also the point of which most people said the game kind of starts to fall flat. A lot of people weren't really happy with the finale. I don't really know what that means, but I guess we'll see. Uh, in the last episode, it was the big reveal that it was actually Mr. Motherfucking Jefferson who was the, the, the mastermind behind it all, came out, shot Chloe right in the goddamn head. At least we don't have to hear the word hella anymore. Get fucked. I would have never guessed it was him, dude. I would have never guessed. What a reveal. What a fucking twist. I would have never guessed it to be him. Which made him the most likely. I should have realized it 10 episodes ago. I should have realized it, but I didn't. I thought eliminating everybody one by one would be better. Eliminating Mr. Security and then moving on to Nathan. I guess it was just too obvious, right? too obvious they had to spin this shit around which makes sense though why he picked victoria i guess to go with him right to fucking uh wherever the fuck san diego or whatever it is and now it looks like we're captured so we're gonna have to be uh forced into taking some photos it's gonna get pretty fucked up i bet this episode it's gonna get pretty <laughs> it's gonna get pretty bad What did he do with Chloe's body? What did he do with Chloe's body? I need to know. The thing is though now, honestly, it's kind of weird now because she found out she has that power that she can just look at a picture and she can just revert really far back. And because she retains all the information, it's like nothing stopping her from looking at any photograph and just going back to that moment and just kind of rebooting the whole thing. I would hope that they don't go that route, but, you know, that's, it's also called polarized, so I don't know. Unless he kills me here, then obviously I can't do that. <laughs> Damn. Where's Mr. Jefferson's creep ass? Where's my man, my main man Sammy fit into all this? He's still a creep. He's very much a creep. Oh shit. What the fuck? Chloe? Nah, she's dead. Oh, I'm wearing a butterfly Where? shirt as well. Where? Oh, it's a dark room. Is he gonna come through? He's got like latex gloves and shit over here. He's like, Dexter! Is anybody out there? Please help! Syringe? Oh, let's grab the syringe. Grab it. God, I don't remember anything. I can't grab it because I'm tied up. What am I thinking? This isn't this gonna work. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. How do I even look at that photo? Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. This is how he got famous. <laughs> Uh, oh, finally, I'm free. Almost. That was that easy to break out? This has got to be like some kind of troll, right? There's no way, like... <laughs> is Mr. Jefferson a dumb fuck? How many girls has he done this to? And they broke, he just broke out just like that? There's no way. There's no way. What else can we do? God. I don't remember anything that happened. Can't this must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I understand, but like, what else do I grab on this, this, this piece here? What do I grab? It's just the photo and the fucking thing. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Well, uh... <laughs> what else do I do? I can't really move anything else. Focus on the photo! I 
promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. That's what you're gonna do? You're crazy? You're gonna go back to that moment when you're tied up? That's just gonna like put you right back in the shit. Wasn't she knocked out in this moment? This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Damn, he's a fucking creep. Eyes. Look at that <laughs> perfect face. <laughs> Ooh. He's getting his jollies off. Hold that stare there. Stay still. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, please. What was his other pictures like? Oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Uh. Wait. Let me try this angle. I don't understand, like, why I... Don't wh move! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Okay. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. Damn! You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Yeah, she did Chloe. now. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. What is okay. he, he gonna do with the pictures though? Now, this looks good. Should keep him for himself? Maybe a few more close <laughs> Oh shit, he's getting into it! It's like he does these in his own time, but then he actually makes Max, legitimate please pictures do too. Not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. All right, Mr. Maybe. Jefferson. Goodness. A new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Oh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter though. You're turning him on! on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Oh shit. He's liking Remember it. My number one rule. Always take a shot. Well. What did that what the hell did that do for us? We're just going to end up right back in the chair again. That <laughs> didn't change a damn thing. Or did it? Did we leak some liquid all over his fucking his pictures? Oh no, God forbid. His pictures are wet now. That was the oh, only Jesus. thing we changed. 
I can't believe that happened. So sick. Everything else is still the same. I'm glad we got to relive that weirdo fucking see. Oh, what's that? Ha! Huh! Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. So just kick it. Just kick it again. Just just keep kicking shit. There it is right there. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Oh, so she could look back through? That's the plan? Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Sure, why not, you know? At this point... This might work. Please work. We're just gonna be in a constant loop of being tortured and strung up in a chair. Ooh, I got like a bruise on my face. What the fuck? Oh, it looked like I had a bruise. What the fuck? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. Oh! You're trying to. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, naivete. some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. How long have you been doing this? What the fuck? You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Ho! Oh! <laughs> Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. <laughs> Go to hell. No, man, I'll just say you, you killed her. You killed her, you killed Chloe. Ah! You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. Oh, man. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Damn. Kate survived. Blah, blah, blah. Why would she say blah, blah, blah? Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever. And she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Ho! <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the press Fuck! are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. <sighs> oh my god. I shouldn't have... He was a he was a hard ass, but he was not the guy. He was not the guy, and I and I got him fired for that. I got him fired. <laughs> Shit. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. You didn't care about him. You're wrong again. He was genuinely talented, and his father is a serious asshole, as you might know. I know. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Uh? Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, 
I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? He got his parents How to pay for that? Could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Fuck Rachel Amber, dude. That's the real tragedy. I'm tired of hearing Nathan about her. I thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, damn. So he actually, he fucked it up. <laughs> he fucked it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. Of course. A human chameleon. So many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. You know Frank. Hmm. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway. So, look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Whoa. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. What? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. He's dead too! Now the police will never find his body. What? Do you finally get it now, Max? Holy shit! I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, <laughs> but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, well, I mean, I like my models to be seen and not heard, so I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. I think we would end up here okay. regardless, so it's now, just how the game works. Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh, nice. A battered old heart. A heart that needs to What is that? This is not art. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Where is he back there? What's he doing? Jerking off to get ready? I wish you could see yourself now. <laughs> I guess we gotta rewind again. Whoop. Let's see how these shots came out. Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. Ooh. I think our session was a career high for me. I, I kind of want to see him. <laughs> what if I, uh, before, before we actually do what we were really supposed to do, I think it'd be kind of, like, I'll play, I'll play that, um, I'm also kind of into this shit too, you know, like, maybe, maybe, maybe I go along with what you want, Mr. Jefferson, but then, wouldn't that break the feeling that he wants? So if I act like I want, I, I want to pose for him, it'll in turn turn him off, and then he'll let me go. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Yeah! Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Ooh. Too perfect. You like it! All right! He likes it! He likes the idea! Wait. Show me the fucking pictures! No! You better ask him something else. I wanted to see them, god damn it! I was trying to play kink with kink! Why didn't it work? 
God damn it. Now we gotta go all the way back to this shit again. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Please. Mr. Jefferson. I guess my diary. You. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Man. It's fucked up, man. I didn't even get to submit a photo for your stupid contest. You don't even know what skills I truly have. You have no idea. You have no idea the powers that I have. I'm an X-Man. I'm going to look at this picture and I'm going to rewind all the way back to the beginning of the game. <laughs> when was this picture taken? <laughs> when was this picture taken? When was this picture taken? Tell me how fucking far back we're going to go. I kind of want to know beforehand. I could frame any no way this is the beginning and catch no! a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic. Right picture. back where I started this insane Max. week. The whole and week nobody is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular the since whole the early week. 1800s. No. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as What about as the Kate around. stuff? Now, Max. The Kate stuff! Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <sighs> oh my god. Who cares? Why not? Yeah, fucking A. I don't care. Who fucking cares at this point? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Damn. Thanks for the warning. I'm getting evil. <laughs> so, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. And guys, don't forget the deadline <laughs> to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. He still says that even though I told him off? I have to warn David what the about fuck? Jefferson and the dark room. No! Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I don't even want to play anymore, dude. <laughs> it yes, killed it. It I can killed it. Right now. Oh, except I need his damn... I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. Great. Absolutely great. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Oh, look, there he is. Blazing a trail in the world of 1990 style and fashion photography. Jefferson always knew he'd wanted to share his vision and inspire others. Thank Whoa. You. Hey, Sammy's number's in there too. Why don't we call Sammy? <laughs> Let's tell Sammy about this. We'll snitch him out to, 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 to Sammy. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. 
So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Ooh. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Yes. You're gonna fucking get like a it brain tumor and die. I have to save Chloe. Oh, okay. Well then I guess you're dead, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> you just gotta, you're gonna give it away. Mr. Here, Jefferson, I'll give you a fucking photo. We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Oh! Hold on, Are you okay, Max? I got a tune. Not until Victoria knows <laughs> that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen. Damn. I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Damn! I'm not going Max. to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means... What's the picture of? A lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo and kind of awkward. Maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Stop! What the fuck? Why are you like That's like too much aggression like coming out. It's like very obvious that you know something. What the fuck? So what, did we, we prevent this from ever happening? No, it still happened. This still happened as well? Like, everything else still happened as is? Okay, so we're just gonna go right back to the same point. But I got David fired. Okay, so they ransacked this fucking... So it's just assumed that he took it serious. And they got him, and he's going to jail. I couldn't see any of this play out except through fucking pictures. They found the body too. Fuck off. Fuck off. Come on, dude. Oh, there's my picture. Look at that. It's like the cover. Did I win? I won. Chloe's still alive. Fuck me, man. I gotta hear hella more. God damn it. Just keep her dead! Why did I fucking think this would happen? Why would you just revert what? everything? No. Oh, it's all pointless. Everything I've done up to this point. Okay. We're, we're flying. Okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. The plane still crashes and she dies anyway. No, right <laughs> this time. God damn it. God damn it. I hope too, because you know, otherwise we'd have to actually play it and do it. Good work. Local David. teacher arrested. Has David got to keep his job? Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. <sighs> Fixed everything. Yeah. Well, sir. Yeah. Good job, Max. You fixed it all. You made it so that way the entire game was pointless. <laughs> Good job. Nice.
<laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh man, what's he watching? Is that fucking hot help. dog thing? I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. I can't wait. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen. Police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. How many other people were in there, though, other than Rachel Amber? If, if Kate never happened, how many other? I guess there were a lot of binders, right? But... Oh, this plane's totally going though. down. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. Plane's going down because of the tornado. It's so Look outside, you'll see it. Between realities. <laughs> Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Is that it? Like, what else am I looking for, dude? I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Everyday heroes. Why do I get to go with the fucking shitty principal now? How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just kind of were, dude. <laughs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell, so I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescotts, things have been hectic, to say the least. I you didn't believe me in the first place. Else. He's a piece of shit That's too. A smart He's way a piece of, of shit you to too. Stop we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am. Could have brought the I science teacher. There. I would have rather had her come with. Oh shit! Christ. The tumor's back. Another nosebleed. Max, you're not just screwing around with time. I don't know what the fuck is happening with time at this point. Do we become rich and famous? Did we win? Oh, she's totally dead, dude. They're gonna fucking prison break this ending. They're gonna prison break this ending. I'm telling you. Wow, this is a nice gallery. Where's my piece of art? Where's mine? Mine damn sure better be hung up. Look at me, dressed all fancy like, like a true artiste. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. I better get in there. <laughs> what? You know, I won't always what? be here to take charge, but you come talk to me whenever you want. So this this little this little competition on, like this little thing after everything that's happened this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Don't make me actually do this. Oh, it's going to make me actually do this. Like wasn't it just like a little oh, tiny competition nice. for the school? You did it somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is Yeah. Weird. There we are on the there list. Look at that. Along with all the other winners. Beautiful. I should say artists instead. Sh Sean Bath Hornsby? 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 Oh, God. I don't want to talk to any of these people. They're just going to like. Maybe they're all fucking weirdos. That would be How do these the bigger twist. The rent here? They're all serial killers, each and every so one of them. Sad. Like I was back in high school. Who said this? Usually you? these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Have you seen my picture? Have you seen my picture at all? Motherfucker. There it is! There's three people looking at my picture. Who wants to buy it? Give me some of that. 
You like what you see? You want some of that? I can do that for you if you hire me. Right now, I'm currently working on an individual uh, basis, freelance, so to speak. You can pay me per project. Right? Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Jeez. You did it, Max. <laughs> You're a real artist. At least for today. Oh, what if I look within those pictures in the picture? Oh, she's bleeding out again. A picture within a picture. You gotta go back even further. Did you forget about the tornado? Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> jet lag. Uh, uh, your nose. Your nose. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that one line that that guy had to say. Left the ringer off, idiot. Your nose. Six calls. Holy shit. Come on. Please answer. No, oh, they're dead. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? The whole fucking town got wiped out and you left. You oh knew this God. was gonna happen. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. How would you fixing we your personal died. problems fix the tornado? The is gonna be destroyed. How? What did you think would happen, there Max? There has to be a way to stop this. For good. You moron. I'm gonna okay, use my own that. picture. I knew it. <laughs> but why? No, I don't want to rewind. Stop! I'm just giving myself more of a nosebleed. I don't understand why. Now this is gonna undo all the Mark Jefferson shit, though, ain't it? Didn't I take this shit at like the very beginning? Yeah. Yeah, that's a tumor. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? You're destroying it. Can I still play my guitar? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Am I am I doing another change to the picture? I'm tearing the picture? Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. <gasps> <laughs> this is your future though, Max. No, this is being taken away. Who won in your place, Victoria? Oh, they won't show. They won't show who won? It's gotta be Victoria going instead. Wait, what? We're back to getting tortured? What the fucking... <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Jefferson looking like a creep there. What the hell is this? What is happening? I'm captured again. Oh, fuck. She couldn't tear the picture no. and... I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. She couldn't do both things? It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. I guess it was locked off, but... between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway. Answer my question, please. Eat shit and die or fuck you. Beautiful. <laughs> but so this is this is back at the beginning of the episode when I detached my leg. So everything in between didn't matter. <laughs> Ignore everything else. Eat shit and die. Spit at him. Good answer. Good answer. Oh shit. Hey. 
Your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. <laughs> Your eyes, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Oh, Jesus. You burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... Ew. Weird going on with you. You should have kept it. You should have kept it, man. You should have kept the winning Whoa. competition. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Fuck the town. Like I said, something weird. They're all gonna die anyway. At least you're in a bunker. Fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson. Thank you. Thank you. Please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. What Quiet. does he care? We're in the bunker. What does he care? He doesn't care. He'll kill her. He'll be alive. Everything up top will be wiped out. Please. Don't do this. It's done, dude. This is the bad ending. <laughs> this is the bad ending. <laughs> Fuck. Please, Mr. Jefferson, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. Ah! What? Who the fuck? He's got a tripod! Is it Chloe? Damn. Rogue fucking Madsen, dude! Oh, he's getting his ass beat! No, no, oh my no. god! Oh my god! Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Yeah. Okay. Yay, yeah, true. Let's try this one last time. All right, go ahead. Hit me with it. <laughs> I fucking did it. Fucking do it. Oh, shit. Wait. My controller died. I didn't even get to die. My controller died before I died. No! How am I supposed to know how it ends? Fuck! Fuck! Ah!